for this edition of Photoshop. It's me, Shunir, once again. So strap down your stupids, because I am going to show you how to make a pretty cool little quick and easy slime effect. I'm going to start off with the U.S. paper size for a new document. And crop it. Crop it down so it's. It's not as big. Circ uh, square works best, I like to find. Alright, so what I'm going to do. Switch these two around to back as your background, whites your foreground. I am going to go to a nice little orange type. And what I'm going to do. Is I'm just going to go to filter. Render and clouds. So now we got these little orange black clouds. That works out, you know, okay ish. I'm going to change the background to a little gray. Alright, that works. Now we're going to go to render, difference clouds. And it's going to put it at a different level right here. It really doesn't matter, but, you know. I like to, you know, see what I'm working with as it looks pretty cool, you know. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Filter Gallery. And no matter what Photoshop you have, you should have the same outputs, you know. So we're going to go to Artistic, and we're going to go to Plastic Wrap. And if you can see here in my little preview box, this looks like water a little bit, you know. So, Highlight Strength. Going to put that up a little bit. detail. You can really decide this yourself. Uh, smoothness. I don't generally like to have it up too much because that just looks like a blur, as you can see. So I like to have it down quite some bit. Alright, that works fine. Applying plastic wrap. Alright. There we go. That looks pretty good. Alright, so now, as always, gonna duplicate this layer. Gonna trash the other one. I'm gonna duplicate it again. Alright, so now we're gonna get an image. And we're gonna go adjustments. Hue and saturation. This we're gonna colorize. So it's all like that. See, otherwise you're gonna have different colors. So we want one solid color. You know, actually, that kinda looks pretty. That's like a Barney color right there. You can use that for some radiation for something. Alright, so say you want water. There's your water. Nice little blue. Put the saturation up. Put that down. Depending on what you want. You want like a little dolphin swimming in there or whatnot. Me, no. Uh -uh, I don't think so. I want little... I want contamination. That's what I want. I want slime. Look at that. Yeah, that looks that looks nice. Right, so we're just gonna hit Control A, or we can just hold down Control and click on the picture. So now we have that. We're gonna go Edit, Copy. Now I have in my little storage folder here of pictures. If it'll pop up, I have a nice little image of a lakeside down here. Loading, loading, loading. There we go. Control D. Duplicate this. Going to chuck that. Duplicate that layer. There we go. Make the bottom one invisible. All right, now we're going to go edit. Paste. Now, this is going to automatically put on your layers. So we want overlay. There we go. Now, with overlay, you can see what you're erasing. And I'm just going to very sloppy, very quickly, just so you get the gist of what I'm doing here. Going to go through, I'm just going to erase this. Just 
go through. I'm just gonna erase all of it. Get down to these rocks down here. Go through. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, pay attention to your picture. There's a little land surface right over there, so we're just gonna cut that out. There we go. That looks real nice. There we go. Bam, put that right in the background. There we go. Right there in the back. Alright, so now that we have that, um, we have that, I don't really like that too much, so I'm just going to go around, I'm going to fool around with it, so I like, that actually looks pretty good, darkened, I like that, that nice little reflections, keep going through it, that actually looks pretty cool too, I like that also, uh, what I'm doing here, I like to just click on it, click one, and use my little mouse scroll button to go through very quickly. Ah, that looks that looks good. So that's on screen. So I like that. Let's see if I like anything else. Overlay is always good. I like screen though, because I like the sun up there. I like that. Alright, so, with that being said, I have all that. Now I can just go back really quickly, my burn tool, and just burn some areas over here. Go through real quickly, like. best if I'm on my background layer here. Go through and make the sky a little darker here. There we go. Make the mountains a little darker. That one back there, the darkest going up here. And what I'm doing here, I'm not really like going back and forth too much. If you can see, I'm just doing little overlaps of darker and lighter spots, so it looks like little clouds. And a little storm coming through. Make this darker. Make that darker. There we go. Bam. And now we have that. And now you guys go back here and go to image. Adjustments, human saturation. And we can always just turn that down. Bam. Just like that. There you go. So, once again. My name is... Shiro Nero, and that's my tutorial. Have a nice day, everyone.